Hello Capricorn, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, uh, what's going on in your current connection, and how do you feel about each other, what are the energies between you. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So just take what resonates for you, and uh, feel free to check out your other placements as well if you want additional messages, your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance. I'll have all of the playlists linked in the description box so you can check those out and see what other messages you get. So let's jump right in for Capricorn. Spirit, angels, gods, messages, guidance, please. For Capricorn and love. What does Capricorn need to know? Regarding love. Ooh. Hang on. Ace of Swords. Hmm. What does Capricorn need to know regarding love spirit? This uh, reading will be for those of you that are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. For Capricorn. have your energies here on this side current connection energy here's six of swords reverse five of pentacles reverse queen of cups hmm this could be somebody wanting to return to you because they love you What's at the bottom of the deck? King of Pentacles reverse. Okay. Typically the King of Pentacles reverse for me as a reader, they don't have much to give. Um, they're not able to commit. They're not able to provide, you know, at this time for whatever reason. Hmm. So let's start with what's going on in your connection first. And then I'll break your energies down separately down here for Capricorn. Spirit. Can we get some clarity, please, on these energies for Capricorn? Could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Does not have to be. We'll see what other signs come out. But it's more the energy that's important. The energy of the cards in the spread as a whole. Let's start with the Six of Swords Reverse, because the Six of Swords Reverse could be a card about someone returning that has already left, or it could be card, a card about someone who can is prevented or delayed from leaving a situation. Why is the Six of Swords Reverse? Can you tell me about this energy? The Six of Swords Reverse, what can you tell me about Six of Swords Reverse? Five of Cups. Okay, can I get can I get one more for the Six of Swords reverse? I got so many messages right now. <laughs> okay, tell me about the Six of Swords reverse. I want to see what else comes out before I say what I say. Okay, the Hermit, Virgo energy. I feel like this is someone that's really feeling bad over the choices they've made. They have regrets over the past and missing you. I got all those messages when I saw this Five of Cups. I feel like this is someone that wants to come back, but they feel so far. Um, either you stopped communicating or they moved or something like that. There's distance here. I feel like this person also could be somebody who is missing you in secret or missing you, you know, when, when they're all alone, they think of you. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Five of Pentacles reverse? The Knight of Swords. This could be somebody that wants to come back in out of the cold and talk to you, text you. Can I get one more for this Five of Pentacles reverse? 
Oops, it's way too many. It's gonna be somebody that wants to tell you something like really badly. That was my dog in the background. Why is the five of pentacles reverse? You're the magician. Yeah, I feel, I feel, you know, with the knight of swords and the, ma and the magician, I'm getting someone that's like, I really need to talk to Capricorn. Like I have to, like I have to make this happen. I have to, they have to listen to me. You know, we need to talk. We have to talk. Very insistent. Two of Swords. Again, I, I get the sense of like this blocked energy, like someone that's hard to reach, hard to talk to. Someone that is almost like, um, you know, like stay far away, <laughs> you know. Um, so you might be uh, protecting yourself from this person or keeping this person at a distance. Then maybe your boundaries are really strong right now. Maybe this person's blocked. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? I just got really tired all of a sudden. Nine of Cups. So I'm getting like a prize. Almost like somebody, this would be... Having the Queen of Cups address them or being with the person they love or have these feelings for, like this would be amazing for this person. It's like you are the prize. Contacting you and getting a response would be enough. I don't know why I can't really talk about, I, I can't describe it very well. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, I have the Emperor, Aries energy, and then the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like this person, if you were to give them an inch, they would think it's a mile, you know? And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's almost like for you to even look at their direction, it's like, wow, I have a chance. <laughs> that kind of energy. So let's get down to how you feel about each other here. Some insight into your energies. Or any guidance insight we can get here between Capricorn and their person. What do we need to know about the energy between Capricorn and this other person? Capricorn, I have you on this side, your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. Tell me about Capricorn's energy in this connection. Patiently waiting. Waiting, patience, faith. What you desire will be given at the right time. Have faith. Okay, so you're waiting for something. Okay, tell me about Capricorn's person. What do we need to know about the person that Capricorn is dealing with? Spirit? What do we need to know about their energies? judgment call a judgment call is being made using logic and reason what's this difficult decision okay bottom of the deck victory lap yeah okay so this person um i feel like you're the decision maker that's kind of what i'm getting it's like they're waiting for your decision why am I, why am I getting that? But that's kind of what I'm getting. It's almost like this person is at your mercy or at the mercy of whatever decision you make. We'll see if I'm right about that. Can you get some more insight please for Capricorn? The energy between Capricorn and this person. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. Yeah, you are waiting. Watching and waiting for something. But I don't know what, Capricorn. I don't know. What, and, and what I mean by that is, I don't know if whatever you're waiting for involves this person at all. 
Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Maybe you're waiting for this person to prove themselves to you um, or you're waiting for an apology. Watching and waiting someone's actions or what, you know, like watching someone's action, observing someone's actions and, and waiting to see what, what that's all about. Tell me about Capricorn's person. That's way too many, but I'm going to take at least the top one. Frog healing, renewal. That's what the frog energy is about. Stingray and Cobra. So the stingray is kind of someone that needs to find a spine. Um, you know, they, they just don't have that courage just yet. And Cobra is kind of like a teacher, master, student kind of energy. It's like this person is learning a lesson or has, has learned a lesson. But they still need courage. And they're thinking of healing. So once again, I did get that kind of that sense here with the five of cups. It's like this person is wanting to talk to you to maybe heal the situation with the five of pentacles reverse. Have some sort of a recovery. Let's see what your energy here is. Ten of Wands, Reverse, the Emperor, Aries, Energy. Wow, the Tower. So you must have had a Tower moment or caused a Tower. Ten of Wands, Reverse, dropped a burden. So there's some sort of burden or situation that you kind of freed yourself from is kind of what I'm getting here. But wow. Something definitely happened here. What's this tower about? Why is the tower here? Yeah, nine of wands. Why is the tower here? You were tired of something, wary. Maybe you were finding it hard to trust. Your guard was up. Yeah, the devil Capricorn energy, there you are feel like you smelled that something wasn't quite right. Maybe you had suspicions about something. Maybe you decided to just break free of something yourself. Page of Pentacles. Could have even been like a tower that you caused or experienced in your life that perhaps brought some sort of small opportunity to you. Hmm. And the reason I say you cause this tower is because the emperor is here and the emperor is in control. Tell me about the emperor. Yeah, six of wands. Tell me about the ten of wands reverse. Why is the ten of wands reverse? Knight of cups. I feel like you, yeah, judgment, you, you, I feel like for the Capricorns that I'm talking to, you dropped an emotional burden or are giving up an emotional burden because you don't want to deal with this anymore. It was maybe too much for you. So I don't know if this tower was something that came about and helped you or you brought it on yourself because you were ready for some new opportunity here. You want to be successful. You're focused on stability and structure. And it's almost like you'll do what it takes to get it. But with the nine of wands and the devil here, this was very difficult. Taxing is what I heard, taxing. So maybe emotionally this took a toll on you or it was just toxic and unhealthy. Um, maybe something just was too good to be true. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here? 
two of swords, four of wands. Yeah, I feel like you were stuck. Stuck and holding on to something or something was holding on to you that maybe uh, at first glance was good for wands or this could have been happening at home. Very interesting. Three of Wands. I feel like this is what you might be waiting for. To have all of this be over, to have success. You want something, you're waiting for something specific. You may have protected yourself from someone else as well. Let's look at your person's energy. The devil, wow, they got the devil as well. There you are, Capricorn energy. Four of swords, a card about healing, rest, and then the eight of cups. Interesting. Let me get some insight. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil. Wow, these are very powerful energies. You have the tower, they have the devil. Four of pentacles, okay, so this is tied to, this could be this person's energy. The chariot, cancer energy. Tell me about the four of swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Six of Cups. Why is the Four of Swords here? Two of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to heal the past, but they don't know how to go about it. It's like they have no idea how to do it. But really, I feel like all they have to do is just be honest. Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords here, King of Swords, you know, it's like they're worried about perhaps being honest and open, but that's exactly what probably needs to happen here. Now with the Four of Pentacles and the Chariot, these are very like opposing energies. The Four of Pentacles is stationary and holding on to something, whereas I feel like the Chariot is about being on the move. You're, you're moving towards something, moving towards success, making a move of some sort. And then I have the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Chariot. I think I want more for the Chariot. Yeah, King of Wands. This is about making a move of some sort. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. It's like they're holding on to something and making a move. Like maybe this is some, maybe they're holding on to you. I have the Devil here. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Ace of Wands. Walking away towards something new. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. The hangman again opposing energies and then the two of wands so i feel like this is someone this two of pentacles is i feel like this person goes back and forth a lot maybe what they want and what they're willing to do are two different things right like their wants are very clear perhaps they know what they want to do but when it comes to actually doing something maybe there are four of swords you know i have the two of want of pentacles here Maybe they are stuck in a situation and wanting to leave it. You know, that would require for them to make a, choose a path here with the two of wands. You know, I, I feel like this person is conflicted. 
or perhaps it's not up to them to make the decisions because up here I got this energy of you making a certain decision so maybe they're just like on pause okay I don't know exactly what's going on here <laughs> If this is resonating for you, let me know in the comments because I feel like what's happening here is it, it could be two different things. The first thing is, let's say you're, they're waiting on you to make a decision about them, right? Well then, yeah, they're probably not able to make all of the moves that they want to make because they're waiting on you and at the mercy of what you're going to decide, right? That's a possibility. For others of you, I feel like this could be somebody that can't make up their mind or they are able to say what they want to do and able to dream about what they want to make happen. But when it comes time to actually make moves, I feel like they kind of like sit, you know, they don't actually do what they're, they're supposed to be doing here or can't. Tell me about this King of Wands and the Chariot. Tell me about the King of Wands and the Chariot Spirit. Why is the King of Wands and the Chariot here? Yeah, the Four of Swords. You see what I'm saying? King of Wands and the Chariot are movers, shakers. They do things. They make things happen. And I clarified it and I got the Four of Swords. So it's like there's no movement, no communication. Someone's literally laying down. So that's kind of what I'm saying when I say that there's like conflicting energies here. Um, you know, so it could be because someone's more comfortable talking about what they want to do rather than doing it. Or it could be that they're prevented from doing, making a move that they want to make. Let's get some insight into their energies for you here. What are their thoughts, feelings towards Capricorn? What are they thinking, feeling? When it comes to Capricorn, what is this person thinking? Feeling when it comes to Capricorn, what are they thinking, feeling? I still check up on you. Bottom of the deck, I want to see you. So I don't think this person has access to you if they're, you know, wanting to see you and are checking up on you. So again, that feeling of being far from you. What else? What else do we need to know about this person's energies, thoughts, feelings, energies when it comes to Capricorn? Main male, masculine energy. And then we have pathway at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like they're, they're the ones that would probably need to make a decision here about which path to choose. They have the two of pentacles, the two of wands came up and now this pathway card. So it could be that maybe you're waiting for them to make a decision here, Capricorn. Because you're patiently waiting for something. You have the two of swords too though. I don't know, I feel like you're kind of mirroring each other here. And I know that I'm missing something because all of your situations are obviously very different from, from one another. Um, so there has to be some sort of connecting piece here that's different for all of you watching that I can't see. But I hope it makes sense um, to those of you that is resonating. I get some more insight into this person's energies towards Capricorn. I want you. Bottom of the deck, I wish things could be different. Yeah, I, I think that's the thing. Like, There's a lot of wishing and not doing, you know? Hoping, but not taking actions or making moves exactly. They want to heal this connection, but why, why is there such a block here, you know? Why the inaction? I'll leave it here, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it your support. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.